Yeah, g'day, Bush Camping Tools here. Well, I've got with me today this really great folder, and I came across this brand, uh, this company not so long ago, Raid Ops is the company, it's in Korea, and this is, a, I've already been using it quite a lot here, I'll just fold it up to show you, but this is uh, a titanium frame lock knife. Yeah, I got this a couple of weeks ago, and I ju I'm just loving it. Okay, so this is G10, a big, thick slab of G10 there, and a big, thick slab of titanium, and titanium makes really good springs, so in terms of frame lock, that's the spring area in there. Uh, it's a very well-designed frame lock, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you why now, and tell you why that's a great frame lock. Okay, so if we look at the locking bar here, you can see there's this insert on the titanium, and that's 420J uh, insert on there, so it is that insert which actually mates with the surface the back surface of the S30V uh, CPM metals, crucible metals, blade here. So it's not the titanium itself, it's 420J. And that way it's possible to get an exact mating surface. So there's none of this, you know, what people are in the, you know, knife water calling rock lock, where this thing rocks backwards and forwards. So it is a perfect lockup. Also what I like about this knife is, is that you've got, you know, bronze phosphor washes in there. I'm not sure if you can, let's see if we can see it from here. Uh, you might be able to see that there if I go side to side. You see that there? Yeah, bronze phosphor washes in there. You know, you've got a big chunky stop on here like that. You see that there, the back of the knife. It's a big chunky blade of CPM uh, S30V. Alrighty, so just for general, this is a pretty hardcore little knife is totally EDC and what I should say before I start showing you something here is that this blade is actually under three inches now that there's the handle let's have a good look at that there see that there fits my hand nicely very very nice that's very comfortable like that the pocket clip is designed as such that that's not digging into the back of my hand either with a grip there like that okay so let's have a look at it anyway on this this is pretty tough vegetable too this is cassava and I like taking this stuff out with me. It, it's, it lasts for a while, you don't need any refrigeration. It's full of carbs on camping trips, in a hut somewhere. Uh, if you're in the tropics, of course, cassava is uh, freely available uh, just about everywhere. It's grown, everybody's grown it everywhere. And, that, and, and, and you see this, this folder, you know, just handles this, you know, perfectly on like that. You see, it's pretty tough, the skin's very, very tough. And despite the blade being very thick, because, you know, thick blades, sometimes, if the geometry is not right, you can't uh, peel or prepare foods with it. Well, this is not just not the case here with this. You see that there? Just really, really easily peel with this, like that. And uh, as I said, if you're in a hut camping, you know, in the tropics, cassava is a really good thing to take out with you. Look at that. No no problems whatsoever. And let's slice off some of it just to have a look at that there. Uh, with this, you know, no problems, you know. Okay, it's not going to be as good as a kitchen knife, but it's not a kitchen knife, is it? You know, it's an EDC folder. There you go. Look at that. That's pretty good. All right, let's have a look at some other features of this blade. And, uh, you know, titanium, it's it's grade five titanium, by the way. In other words, it's uh, uh, titanium with aluminium and vanadium. A large uh, proportion of vanadium is in the alloy. The thing, other things I like about this folder is that the main pivot bolt, it sits flush with the frame here on both sides. So there's nothing sticking out. It's flush. It's got a uh, nice pocket clip on there. And it also has a lanyard carry, which I like on there too. So if you had to put a lanyard on the knife in case you don't want to lose it somewhere, uh, that would be a great idea as well. But, you know, as I've shown you, you know, it's, 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 it, 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 it comes out quite easily. You know, when you get the hang of it on there like that, they, look at that, yep, this fantastic. Uh, initially when I got it, it was a bit stiff and they say it's a bit stiff to open because it's got a good lock on it. And the, you know, and this, you see that you cannot accidentally, I'm going to apply a force to it here like that. You see, you cannot, this thing will not come out accidentally. So it's got a good mechanism in there with the ball mechanism in behind in here. There's that, you know, the special ball which they put in there for these frame locks and also on liner locks too. And that will prevent this knife from coming out until you 
want to take it out and let's see if I can get that right on this to flick it open like that. Yep, there you go. This is a bit slimy now because I've got this cassava juice all over it, but you know, yeah, look at that. Just quite easily, very, very nice, solid, positive lockup on there. Okay, so what I what I thought I would do is to test out this Radops uh, Aquilo SRN on sugarcane, hacking into sugarcane. It's a really tough material, and and to see how well it can handle that, I'd normally use a machete on this or um, uh, a, a, a fixed blade knife. Certainly not a folder uh, knife on that. So let's you know let's see how we can uh, what we can do with that. Now let's peel off the outside here. And that's the serrations on there, doing a you know, pretty decent job. But if we use not the serrations, the, it's pretty tough stuff. It's all order for a knife, for a folder. Now remember, for any folder, this is this is not a job for a folder. You know, I like to keep folders for cutting, not for hacking into things like this. But we're going to see. I want to check it out because I've got a lot of confidence in this folder. Okay, so now we're going to cut off the node. You know, we don't want the node in there, so I'm going to just simply. Big old with a knife. Okay, that's got to go. Look at that. Right, let's just get a bit of this off here. doing on that it's still it's still pretty secure you know I thought there was a bit of movement on that I think you know what you got to be careful is when you're using a frame lock I was put a lot of pressure on that your hand is actually on the locking mechanism you know that's the thing about a frame lock and as opposed to the uh, liner lock where the line is on it and you've got your hand on the outside of it you know, if you're applying a lot of force on frame locks, so that's that's okay. You've got to watch that there, but that's okay, right? So let's just cut into this. That was a heavy duty job. Give that to my helper there, and uh, there's more bits there. But there you go. Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. So let's have a look. Just for it. Absolutely fine, you know. Everybody knows titanium is a space age metal, it's used in aerospace everywhere. Grade five is really, really strong. It's perfect for making a spring out of uh, G10, this thickness of G10. This is, you know, almost five mil thick, these slabs on here. And you, there's no, look at this, I'll try and bend this thing, flex it. No chance, no chance you're gonna do that at all because this stuff is really, really strong. And we have one, two, three, four uh, fixing bolts there and a G10 uh, spacer in here if you like to keep the weight down. It is a, you can feel this knife, it's it's great, you know, and uh, big chunky jimping on there like that. Good secure grip. What can I say about it? It uh, really works. So the Aquilo SRN, the SRN is just the serrated version from Radops in in uh, Korea. Now this is actually uh, a design of Radops and they manufacture, I should say, Radops are manufacturing in both Korea, Taiwan and Italy. Their knives are manufactured in any one of those three countries. This one is a um, Taiwanese manufactured one, but the machining and the design is just spot on as far as I'm concerned. There's no, uh, you know, slop in this whatsoever. If we look at this, it mates up you know, this is dead center in here. It's not off to the side or anything like that. The blade, it's 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 a perfect EDC at under uh, three inches in blade length. Okay, 
So uh, that may, may or may not meet legal requirements and depending on what country you're in, but certainly it's a very, very handy size um, of CPM S30V, which as you know, it's a powder metallurgical steel too, very good powder metallurgical steel developed by Crucible Metals in the States. Uh, really, really holds an edge, high rock well and holds an edge, very good corrosion resistance. Uh, I see all this stuff on here from that. It's, nothing's happening to it. Okay, so there you go. The Radops Aquilo SRN. Uh, what can I say? It's great. Very, very well made. Totally recommend it. And uh, I'll be publishing some more videos on this soon because I've just been using it quite a lot. I've blogged about it already. Uh, yeah, check it out. Okay, thanks for watching. Bush Camping Tools here.